The Swaggy is back court. Swag is okay. Okay, I see him. This man is dancing. Got right. Pow! Let's go. That man was dancing on Chris Paul and then put that man on a poster. Let's go. So what is good, you two? We are back here for another video, episode number six of the Oklahoma City Thunder Rebuilding Series. You guys have been killing it so far on this series, and I really, really appreciate it. If you guys missed episode number five, which we played the season opener, which was also the debut of our boy Jalen Green. He also went ahead and played against Cade Cunningham. It was both of their debuts against Cleveland, and you know, if you guys missed the video, make sure you go check it out. A link to it will be down in the description below. But looking at this team, man, we've been simming some. And this team is looking good. But anyways, guys, you guys know the title. And if you guys want to see episode number seven, which will probably be another game or possibly a trade, depending on what we discuss in today's video, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. You guys have been showing so much love, so much support in this series. Let's get 200 likes for another one. You guys be getting that in one hour. So I know that you guys can do it. But looking at this team and a lot of changes and right now we are the 13th best team in the entire league and the seventh best team in the conference we, we've actually been a good team and it's fairly close i mean we could easily end up being a way higher seed than we currently are we are 15 and 12 and this team has been playing really really good and i do want to take you guys through some of the team stats i know it's a little boring then we'll talk about some of the problems that we're seeing with this team and some good news all right so as far as the best offensive team in the entire league all right so as the offense goes we're, we're actually 19th in offense now as far as defense our defense is, is a little bit better than what it was last season i mean we're giving up one of the fewest points in the entire league we are also in shooting we rank 13th in shooting and three-point shooting we're 19 and just as a team in general like we have just gotten better like we are just a way better team in general and i mean let's go ahead and let's and let's look at some of these awards as well because like i said before a lot of things have been going on luca is about to be this year's mvp Cade cunningham has taken over rookie of the year jalen green was holding this thing down man he was already rookie of the month but then these these two guys just started turning up, bro. Even though Loki has better numbers than both these guys. We definitely want to get this man rookie of the year. He's currently an 80 overall, and Kate is an 81. Six, six man of the year looks like Devontae Graham is, is finding his place in Chicago. Jonathan Isaac and our boy Andre Drummond. I keep on telling you, man, 2K shows him a lot of love. But look at his numbers. 19, 17 boards, nearly two blocks a game. And LaMelo Ball, <laughs> multiple player. Even over Jaw, who's averaging 30. My goodness. But overall, guys, let's talk about some of the things with this team. Because as you guys can see from the title, we have a major injury, yo. And it's not Goran Dragic, who has a broken nose, but he's actually playing through it. As you guys can see, there's somebody missing, man. Pokyshevsky has torn his MCL. We keep getting a hit with this torn right MCL cheese. Last year it was Shea. This year is Pokyshevsky. And I mean, he's coming back in six to eight weeks, but that's gonna be like towards the end of the season. So I'm probably just gonna have him come off of the bench whenever he comes back, cause I wanna ease him back into it. This season, he did take a little bit of a step back, but he is shooting a better percentage. But overall, his numbers are pretty similar to what they were last season. He is shooting better. Like he's a lot more efficient in the times that he did actually play, but I do wanna ease him back whenever he gets back into it. But he does have a torn MCL and that really hurt us. I mean, so far we're actually doing fairly good. Like. I really didn't expect it, especially once he went down. I didn't really expect it, but he's also injured. Now, if you guys did not notice, we went ahead and we extended Shea. He was happy with what he saw. At first, he was not rocking with this team at all. But once he saw that we was winning games, he said, I'll go ahead. I like Jalen Green. I like this new squad. And he went ahead and he re-ups. And let me go ahead and show you guys his contract. Where is it at? Shea must love that home cooking heat. He's opted to stay with the Thunder on a four-year deal worth, worth 125 million bucks. Homie got his bag, man. Homie got his bag. He negotiated and he got paid. Now, other guys, I mean, I tried to extend a few of the other guys, but they wasn't really, you know, rocking with it. I mean, of course, Al Horford wants to resign. And look, I will pay him a minimum deal. I'm not even really against doing that, so it looks like he's me staying as well. But yeah, guys, other than that, not that much has been going on with this sim. We'll see if we can get Drummond back next season. 
But as far as some of the trades that have gone down, and remember, I am kind of GMing the entire thing. Klay Thompson. The Warriors have traded away Klay Thompson and a second round pick in return for two first round picks and Akil Alexander Walker. The Warriors are one of the worst teams in the entire league, so I actually understand them doing it. They suck. They really suck. So they decided to go ahead and start the rebuild and we'll see how that goes. And lastly, before we start off this game, y'all, these are all of our stats, man. Led in points by Shea with 25 a game. Then Drummond is taking away shots from some of the young guys, but 19, 17, Jalen Green, you guys already saw his numbers. Dragic was putting up 15 as well. And Darius Baisley, nine points. I mean, he's playing his role as best he can. And Greg Brown, he's averaging eight points, but on insane efficiency. 55% from the field, and he's shooting 35% from the three point line. I want to start him, and I think that going forward, I am going to start him because I think that he gives this team the best chance to win over Lou Dort. No offense to like Lou Dort, I like him off the bench a lot more. And Leangelo Ball, I he actually started off and he and he played most of this season in the G League. I recently brought him up, and he's averaging you know six points on. Nope, really good shooting. He's shooting 55% from the three. That's all that we really need him to do. He's just a shooter for us. And then Theo is having a good year as well. Lou Dora is doing all right, but what he brings offensively, he's the only guy here to where his plus minus whenever he whenever he's on the court is in the negatives. Like he doesn't help us win games. So <laughs> that's something that we got to look at as well. But anyways, guys, in today's video, we have the Phoenix Suns. And I believe they are one of the best teams in the entire league. They are 19 and seven, third, this team is cold. Obviously, they got Chris Paul, they got Booker, they got Mikael Bridges, Dario Saric, DeAndre Ayton. This team is kind of cold, and that's one of the reasons why I want to take this team on. So, I'm going to be rocking the city uniform. Yo, low-key, man, the city uniforms are kind of ugly, not going to lie to you, bro. They kind of cheeks. They are kind of cheeks, but hey, man, let's go ahead, let's hop in, and let's see if we can walk out of here with a dub. Let's get it. Yo, these dudes are talking about Andre Drummond. Cut it out. Hey, hey, man. I think that we can beat this team. I keep on telling y'all. This team is so underrated. It's so underrated, man. And we've been dealing with so many injuries. And we have some, some momentum as well. I think they were on a winning streak as well. This team got it. Rate these Thunder uniforms. Any, please miss that. Rate these Thunder uniforms in the comment section below. I think that they are mad ugly. One of the most ugly uniforms that I have possibly ever seen. Baisley for three. Oh my gosh, man. That should have been cash. But yeah, these uniforms are, are mad ugly. Like, I just really can't get over that. The swaggy is backcourt. Swag is okay. Okay. I see him. This man is dancing. Got right. Pow. Let's go. That man was dancing on Chris Paul and then put that man on a poster. Let's go. The rookie getting disrespectful to the vet. I love to see it. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sure I'm sure that CP is gonna want his like revenge. Chris Paul may be old, but I'm sure that he's still getting buckets. I mean, look how good this team is and just look at their roster. It's, it's the same roster that they have in real life. So CP must be doing something for him. Please miss that. Book oh, okay. Like it's like we don't even have drumming, bro. Alright, look look in the corner. Lock that down. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to use Greg Brown later on, but I don't wanna force anything with him. But I do like that we are old. That's in. That's in, huh? Yeah, I, I already knew it. We're looking pretty weak. It's 2-2-11, two, two, and we not looking all that good. Pull that shade green. I needed that, man. I needed that because we was looking real bad out here, Chief. All right, Jello. We got Jello in the game as well. And, yo, Shea, is, yo, Shea has 15 points, and, of course, his one assist. You know, we don't want to overextend him at all. But, yo, Shea's a good scorer. Like, he's a really – oh, why? My gosh. That's one of them holiday brothers. I right? like, but yeah, man. So far, I like what I'm seeing from this team. They've been really incredible. Shea on the dry finish that. Oh my gosh. Come on, man. Yeah, but Shea's going off. He got 15. He, man must have been carrying once I was simming. But we're trying to get everyone involved. I want to see if I can hit a three with Jello. That would be pretty live. Horford is getting minutes, you know? <laughs> like, Horford is like a decent backup center. But I do have to keep my doors open because I do think that he's a really good, like, mentor. But we are keeping that money door open because if we show teams, oh, my good defense. If we show teams that that we are good and we really have nobody on it, I think that we would be able to get a really good free agent this coming offseason or possibly trade for a big name. So if you guys have any ideas 
comment it down in the comment section below any big name for you just like if you guys notice any of the teams back when i was showing you guys the standings teams with certain players that probably don't want to be on a losing team let me know and i'll check them out whenever we start to scout for the 2022 NBA off season in the draft and all of that stuff so yeah give me y'all suggestions in the comment section below i'm sure that you guys have a lot of them because so far what this team is showing is that they can win games and there's no true superstar on this team it's just a lot of young players and decent players like nobody on this team is like a number one option on a championship team at least to this point so we just got to see what we got and right now your boy is struggling a lot all right shay i'm just gonna drive with shay man that man can't guard me all right javon carter cannot guard shay shay got 21 points we just gotta keep cooking then oh my gosh they are clamping all of this up i want greg brown to find his way oh there we go that man is a high flyer high riser if he gets into the paint no one is stopping him bro he's so athletic he's so athletic and we're gonna try to make him into a really good shooter as well like, I think it's like a, it's like a 69 or like a 70, so he's he ain't even a better shooter than like Lou Dort, but his jump shot is just way better. Like his jumper is just better in general, and I feel like we can fix and work on that. And he has way more potential as well. Why is Jalen Green like not playing? I, I kind of want to know what's up with that, but I don't want to mess with the coach's philosophy. All right, Shay. Oh my gosh, Shay is nasty. That man hit him with a reverse spin, and look at him. And he got right past him and went right to the rack. I like it. Yo, is Shay one of the better, like, oh my gosh. Clamps. 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 Keep cutting, Horford. Oh my gosh. I'm taking, oh my gosh. I didn't know that that was Lou Dort. I had no idea that was Lou Dort. Also, Jalen Green is not playing because Buddy is in so much foul trouble. Like, or, where's that? Yeah, he's only played 10 minutes. He has five fouls. That's why he's barely got or played in this game and that's why shay's just going crazy shay's carrying if i'm being honest like shay's carrying there, there's no reason for us to be this close with only one guy who is our guy good steal man they passed that right to us let's turn up shay let's turn up shay they don't know what what they're doing how is this team ranked third in the conference bro and so i keep on trying to tell you it's so close that all those guys with better records our team got the it factor they got the it factor. We got some hoopers over here. Come on. All right. Well, since this is Shay's team, right? I'm going to just eat, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm going to just eat. Give me that. And one. Uh, he got 38. Hey, man. Since Shay going off, you guys know me. Every once in a while, I like the stat pad a little bit. I might, I might let this man go crazy. And, you know, the Thunder are already used to kind of stat padding since their past. So, we might as well try to get Shay like, 50 points, 60 points why not you know i'm trying to get you involved bro i know that you want to eat now that you're finally getting back in the game and whatnot oh pull that theo you got to you got to you got to so jalen is having a off shooting night and foul trouble but at least he's getting some assists i'm trying to let jalen green eat but i might just need to go to like shay because shay's shay's clearly the hot hand good finish good finish i mean i'm, I'm not gonna force it with jalen green Obviously, he hasn't played that much tonight, but Shea got 43, 5, and 7. This man is having a great night, and we might as well just keep feeding him. Why is he at power forward? Or I don't I don't like this. Oh, my gosh. Don't leave CP open. He's your mentor. You know that that man can, like, shoot. Come on, Shay. I'm just going to eat, bro. Yeah. That first step is too quick. His, <laughs> his first step is way too quick for anybody to stop it, whether it's Carter or or CP and these dudes look like twins like you can't even tell which one is which but let's close in on this lead man I'm feeding Shay if like he's there but if not I could just I could just do this and one and one gosh bro we're about to take an L in, in this game we're down by like five points but Jalen Green has 18 homie has already fouled out of the game yo but Jello boy got 17 points hold on man we need a three or something. We got to be clutch here. Why is he open? No, please, no. All right, y'all. I need a three. Badly. Shay on the step back. I, I need it. Crap. And we... This man was getting... Dude, Drummond was getting boxed out by, by Chris Paul. Are you kidding me? 2K. Are y'all kidding me? Drummond was getting boxed out by Chris Paul. And it was working. It was working. Drummond is one of the best rebounders in the entire league. 
cut it out. Not to mention Chris Paul's like six foot or like or like five ten. What what are y'all doing? Yeah, man, we already we are we already lost th this game, y'all. We took an L by three points. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching. I don't know how we lost to this team, man, yo. It must have been DeAndre Aiden sunning Drummond because Aiden had 27, 21, three assists, and he was he was almost perfect from like from like the field. Chris Paul at 26, three and three, shot 50% from the field and five of nine from the three. So he was really going off. Booker struggled a little bit, 15 and seven. So he was still all right. Dario Sart. 15 points on 60% shooting. Alec Burks, even Burks was like killing us, man. Burks shot three or four from the three. Mikel Bridges, all these, like, they had so many guys who were just contributing to, like, this team. And as far as we go, yo, Shea actually got 51 points. Shea got 51, five and 10, three steals. He was in his bag. Jalen Green struggled a little bit, 18 and seven. He shot okay, but he did foul out of the game, and he was bad whenever he was on the court. So he had a so he had himself a really really bad day. I think that if he played better, we would have won this game. Leangelo Ball was really good, three of five from the three point line, seven to twelve shooting, and he finished out with seventeen points. That's that's his season high. Boy has a burner on him, so he's so he's really just spraying that thing whenever he got open, because guys were leaving him open. Darius Baisley, eleven, seven and four. You know he's kind of our utility guy. And Greg Brown in his first game as a starter, 10 and 8. And how did he shoot? 2 of 6. I mean, that's something that, once again, all these guys ha have to work on their shooting. And I think that they will. And lastly, Drummond, 10, only 12 boards. He's averaging 17. So clearly, he was kind of getting clamped up. <laughs> like, but he also did get four steals. So we'll give him some credit there. And other than that, it don't even matter, guys. We had a lot of things to work on with this team. And let me know what you guys thought about this video and everything that we talked about in this video as far as, like, the guys that we should be trading for, all that stuff. Of course, we have been scouting as well. We got a, we got plenty of draft capital to not even, like, I really don't even really want to draft anybody. I kind of want to trade for a superstar. And, I mean, looking at the league, we're going to keep on simming. There's a few guys, I'm sure that they got to be disgruntled where they're at. I'm sure of it. Now, as far as like making it realistic, we just gotta sit back and see as who wants to ring chase and all that stuff. We got a squad here, a really young squad here. So I'm sure that in free agency, we can attract a lot of suitors. So let's just sit back and let's see. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go and drop a like on it. Go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see y'all boys in the next video. I'm out guys, peace.